ready to get down to business? Join seasoned entrepreneur, community leader, and Army veteran Scott Shalom Klein, who will take you behind the scenes with those who work in America's small business scene and speak with leaders making an impact, creating jobs, and telling their story in entrepreneurship. So let's get down to business. On AM560, The Answer, here's your host, Shalom Klein. And indeed, we're all about small business jobs and entrepreneurship and business. We talk a lot about business here. You're on with Get Down to Business, and I'm your host, Shalom Klein. Remember, you can always download podcasts on my website at sykline.com. And while you are there, don't forget to follow me on Twitter at Shalom Klein. It's going to be a jam-packed week of content and information you will not want to miss. Thrilled to be joined by the CEO and founder of Bloom Agency, and that's Chris Martinez. He exemplifies resilience and entrepreneurial spirit. We're going to talk all about his background, but he has grown his company to millions in revenue and earned a Stevie Award in 2021. He's got all sorts of fantastic best-selling books, as uh, and he is empowering marketing agency owners to scale and thrive. Chris Martinez, welcome to the program. What's happening? I'm ready to get down to business. Let's do this. I love it. Chris, you are awesome, my friend. I'm so excited to have you on. I know you, you're no you're no stranger to radio and podcasts. We'll talk a little bit about that in a little bit. But Chris, how did your personal experiences with adversity shape your entrepreneurial journey and your passion for helping others overcome challenges? Tell us your story. Yeah. I mean, I don't know how far back you want to go, but uh, you know, I grew up in the 80s. It was a very interesting time. Didn't have the best home life, very uh, physically, emotionally abusive. Got through that and I survived. Some of my friends didn't, unfortunately. Uh, went to college and that really just changed my whole perspective on life and what I was capable of. Got into entrepreneurship uh, right after my dad died. He died of cancer in 2007, three days before I turned 27 years old. Um, diagnosed and dead within a month. And then, so I started my first business. It was a soccer magazine. I failed. I lost everything. I didn't have any money left in my bank account. One of those stories where you can't pull a $20 bill out of the ATM. Um, eventually taught myself about web design and development. Then I taught myself about digital marketing, launched a marketing agency that evolved into an outsourcing company called Dude Agency, where I had a company in Mexico. I was actually traveling back and forth across the border from San Diego into Tijuana every single day. And we were connecting this hidden talent pool of designers and developers in Mexico with marketing agencies in the US. Then that evolved into what we have now, which is bloompartners.io. And we're helping marketing agencies to grow and scale and fix the non-sexy parts of their business so that they can one day achieve an eight-figure exit. So long story short, I think my entire life has been a string of overcoming adversity. And so I like to help people get through that. I love it. Again, chatting with Chris Martinez. And Chris, what were some of the uh, key strategies and decisions that you believe led to that rapid growth of Bloom? Yeah. So um, I... I didn't grow up in an entrepreneurial family. Like, I don't know if that, that's how you guys were, but um, I didn't have those role models. And so I had a perception of what, it, of what I believed it took to run a business. And so I'll just go back to Dude, uh, the outsourcing company. You know, like we were doing like 800 grand a year in revenue, but we weren't profitable. And I'd be like, why is it that I keep having these great sales months, but at the end of the month, there's no money left over. There's no money left over for me. I feel like everybody is getting rich except for me. And that's when I got exposed to some other people that knew how to run businesses. And I recognized that the secret to success isn't about having like this amazing charisma or like this magical gut instinct that points you in the right direction. It's about learning how to run the business from the numbers. What I say is learning how to make decisions based on facts and not feelings. And prior to that, every it was all feelings. Whatever I felt like doing or whatever I felt like was going wrong, that's where I went. And ultimately, those decisions were leading me astray and I wasn't very profitable. As soon as I learned how to run the business based on facts and not feelings from numbers and data, then the business started to grow and we, that's where we had the millions of revenue and we started to make more money and all kinds of – all those good things that everybody wants. But that's that's the biggest thing is learning how to run the business based on facts and not feelings. Yeah. Well, Chris, I know you authored uh, several books, four books, and your mm -hmm. first book, It's Not Just a Website, has been read by thousands of people and it's a six-time Amazon bestseller. You also have your latest book, 
facts, not feelings, a groundbreaking story on how to run your marketing agency with data and facts and not just gut instincts. There's so, so, so much there. What inspired you to write those books? I know from experience, it's not easy. Yeah. So, I mean, I don't know, not to toot my own horn, but I am, writing has never really been a challenge for me. I've always enjoyed writing. So the first book, it was one of those things where everybody was like, you got to write a book. You know, like I had the marketing agency at the time. You got to write a book. It's going to give you instant credibility, which it absolutely does. And so that book was essentially like a blueprint for how to grow your small business using digital marketing, right? Um, I've written three other books along the way. And so this latest book, Facts Not Feelings, Again, I well, well, this one's a little bit different in the sense that I'm writing it as a story. So I don't know if you've ever read The E-Myth or Built to Sell by two of uh, my favorite authors, um, but it's telling the story of business owners who want to go from point A to point B. So this new book, Facts Not Feelings, I'm taking that approach, which is the first time I'm doing this. I'm writing it as a story of a marketing agency owner who's got this successful business up in, in on social media, basically. Like everybody thinks that they're doing great, they're winning awards, but behind the scenes, it's anything but. They're losing money, they're days away from going out of business. And the story goes, they meet a mentor and that mentor shows them how to transform the business. And in the end, they have a very successful company that uh, he gets an exit offer. And that's all I'm going to say about that. So I'm very excited for this book because it's a new format for me. I'm more, it's more of like telling a story. Um, And I think it's going to be very helpful to marketing agency owners because there are a lot of marketing agencies that are getting offers to sell right now. So uh, hopefully this book can help a lot of people. Yeah, and we're gonna we're gonna share, of course, how folks can get in touch with our guest over here, Chris Martinez, as well as, of course, uh, purchase a copy of all these fantastic books, which have indeed won uh, many awards and accolades. But Chris, I want to change gears for a moment and talk about your role as an entrepreneur. Chris, can you share some of those most valuable lessons that you've learned as an entrepreneur, both from your successes, of which there are many, and perhaps your failures? Oh man, I've had lots of failures. I think I've had more failures than I have the successes. So first tip is you're going to learn more from the losses than you will the wins. Um, The next thing is that I think this is very unique, especially to male entrepreneurs. We think that, and it's not not excluding females, but I think a lot of men, especially men my age in their mid forties, believe that once we make enough money, it's going to solve all the other problems that we have in our life. For example, I make enough money, I'm going to be able to spend more time with my family and my kids. I'm going to have a better relationship with them. I make more money, I'm going to have less stress. I make more money, I'm finally going to be able to go to the gym. And here's the reality. It's not like that. The money is actually an outcome. So what I like to say is that if you're struggling in your business, the business is actually a reflection of you. So the first thing that you got to do is you got to look internally and figure out, how's my physical health? Like, am I, am I a healthy human being by looking at facts, not feelings, right? Go get some blood tests. Go get some, uh, go get your physical. Second thing is your emotional stability. How's your, your, your mental health doing? You cannot run a successful business and show up as a great leader, not, and definitely not show up as a great husband, father, significant other, whatever, if your mental health isn't right. Then we look at the relationships. How are the relationships that you have with your folks or that you're, the, the people that you care about? I would argue that if you're a parent, which I am not, but if you run this multi-billion dollar business and your children grow up to be drug addicts, you have failed at life. Harsh truth, but that's how I feel. Okay. So um, the relationships, you have to take care of the relationships with the people that you love. And lastly, if all those things are running well, good health, good mental health, good relationships, the business will thrive right? That's something that I very, very much believe in that I've seen within myself and with everybody that I work with is that the business is a reflection of you. And so if you want to fix something in the business, you first have to fix something with yourself. I'm chatting with the author of four fantastic reads and a uh, the, the bestseller, It's Not Just a Website, as well as Facts Not Feelings. That's Chris Martinez. He's the founder of Bloom, which has grown from zero dollars to millions of dollars in revenue. And he has truly made such an impact with agencies standing out. And I know he's sharing so much inspiration with all of us. Um, without further ado, Chris, I want to make sure our listeners can get in touch with you and find all of these books. How can they do it? 
Yeah, so just go to Amazon. So our book is actually in pre-order now, but uh, we should have that book launched and ready by end of October at the latest. A um, few little editing snafus, but we'll get that up soon. If you want to reach out to us, you can go to our website, bloompartners.io. You can also go to our Instagram. We have a lot of content that we put out there. I like to think that it's entertaining. Bloompartners.io is our Instagram. You can find us on Facebook. Um, but the best place is to go to our website. We also have a podcast as well. So you can listen to our podcast, Operation Agency Freedom. I love it, Chris Martinez. This is great. And I, what I didn't mention so far, and this is sort of, I know we'll capture everybody's attention in our last few seconds together with Chris Martinez, is one of his books is called Never Wear Pants Again. We'll, uh, we'll leave that for the next conversation. Again, you're listening to Get Down to Business. We are all about small business jobs and entrepreneurship. We've been chatting with Chris Martinez. All of his contact details and his books are available in our show notes. Don't touch that dial. We'll be right back. 